Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is another unboxing of my quarantine shopping series. <laughs> I'm literally just using that one now. So, um, this is actually, as you can see from the title, it's a bag, a purse I bought from Tory Burch. I have been eyeing this bag for quite some time, but I didn't buy it until I know it was gonna go on sale. I didn't get the color that I originally wanted, but I wanted to try something new, so I got this one instead. The so, box is from Tory Burch in Georgia. Let's see. Okay. Um, I actually have just one regret when I ordered this because I ordered this in a rush. Um, I didn't request for a gift packaging, even though I know it's from me i'm not gonna give it to anyone i don't need a gift packaging but i enjoy getting tori birch's gift boxes i'm just hoping this comes in a gift box or something like that but if it doesn't that's fine too let's see how it looks like okay as usual it's packaged really nicely so um how do i do this there yep they did not include a gift package sadly but anyways it's still nice so there's your tory birch receipt container or something the packing list they never failed to package my order really nicely you got your embossed tory birch logo in there this is the receipt i'm not gonna open this and as always every time i order from tory birch it would always come in a seal, a gold seal like that. And a thank you note. So quaint. Let's see how it looks like. This is going to be my first Tory Burch bag that comes in a dust bag. All the bags that I've gotten from Tory from years back have never, has never come in any dust bag. I don't know why this makes it special. But smells ooh. Okay, so the bag is the Lee Rad Zero. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. In a petite size. Okay, I'm nervous. I don't see any dust bag, but I hope it does come. And a dust bag. Let's take it out. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. A lot of people are actually calling this a an Hermes dupe which it kind of looks like it and i don't see the difference why you have to pay like thousands of dollars for something that you can get for a couple of few hundred i got this half the price and the extra coupon and the extra discount and whatnot oh it makes me sad it did not come in at this bag okay so here i talked to the customer service rep and she told me that I will be getting a dust bag for this but this one did not come unfortunately in one. I'm wondering if I could get a dust bag for this. Okay. Oh well. Let's go and open it up. I'm gonna remove all this packaging it came with.
Okay, so there's the bag and there's the key. To open this one, you have to use the key over there. doesn't want to separate because of the plastic I guess have to take that out okay there you go okay it's kind of complicated but yeah there look at that beauty a lot of people actually like this bag because it, it was it's really cute I like the collar that I got because it's hip it's not too serious and formal Here I am, getting so sad over not getting a dust bag, but really it was just inside of the bag. A dust bag. The only time I've gotten a dust bag from Tory Birch was when I purchased a um, bracelet from them. But it looked like this too. Same fabric, actually better than <laughs> better than Louis Vuitton packages or dust bags. This one's really good. It's like a cheesecloth almost. Yeah, and it's got your Tory Birch patterns right there. And yep. This is what I like about it. it. The the dust bags from Tory Burch are really deluxe. It comes with this um, little trinket right there. And let's take a look at the bag. And I thought I've removed all of those. Okay. What a pretty bag. Oh my god. Excuse me, but this is a really pretty bag. I want to be throwing these things off. So this bag would normally cost $4.98 plus tax. But I got it for half the price. And then since I use Rakuten, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like it used to be Ebates. I get like, and they were doing a promo for this where I got I think $60 cut cash back so I got it at even lower price there. brilliant red the radzi roca tea bag okay. it's a real leather okay that's why okay let's smell it it does smell like real leather but it's not as strong. Feels like they actually kind of did air it out. Okay. This is such a nice bag. Oh my gosh. It looks expensive too. It looks like it costs thousands. But it doesn't. Okay. What? Did I just scratch my bag already? I think I scratched it already. Oh, well. They say there will be blemishes on it because it's real leather. It's fine. It's the only complaint is it's kind of hard to open. Um, I will get another video of this in the daytime where I can get a better look of it to show you guys how it looks like in the daytime because I'm filming this in the bedroom 
or I have a very limited source of light. Okay, so let's take a look at the strap. Okay. So far, Tory Burch has never failed me with their um, customer service. The packaging, shipping, it kind of took a little bit longer than usual, but I think it's because of COVID. But for the most part, it came in time. It was actually shipped, and then I got it like two days after. It was pretty fast still, considering that there's so much going on right now. Shipping's delayed because of COVID, not just COVID, but it's almost Christmas time. Everyone's trying to get presents for everybody, so... You know what would look perfect with this bag is a chain um, strap. I'm going to try and use my Louis Vuitton string chain strap for this one. Look how nice this is. So, it goes like that. I might consider getting a keychain for this. This is a really pretty red color, by the way. I was worried it might be too bright for me, but it's playful. It's not like... It's almost like Ferrari red or something. I'm not really a Ferrari person. I, I'm not, I'm more of a fun, functional, safe car person. How do you do this? That's how it looks like. Doesn't have any special Tory Burch logo or what? Oh, it does. I'm wrong, I'm always wrong. Here we go. Let's take a look at the other one. I like how it's not super bright. It's, it's got like a an old look to it. There. Oh, bro, I've not seen a clasp like this. Look at this. Would you look at that? Oh my goodness. This bag was very well thought of. Look, look. Do it like this. Okay, so I twisted that. Look, again, again, again. I'm gonna twist this. Look. I'm gonna put that in there. One more time. Oops. Twist it. And then it twists back itself. Oh my goodness. I love the bag super love it oh my goodness okay okay so let us have a closer look with the bag okay, put everything in the dust bag okay, so receipt everything is in here Again, the dust bag looks like this. Okay, so the hardware looks like this, and it opens up when you use the lock like this. So basically, it's the Tory Birch T sign in there. And the key is kind of like that. It's not a real lock. I mean, like, it is a lock, but it works like that. Um, I observed it. So, the lock works in a way where it goes. This bag was very well thought of. So, you use the lock and it pushes that thing right there down. So, you can open the purse. So, this actually is kind of annoying with it when it's in front, so I might put that on the side so you can take it off like that. It's removable. There. This part is not undoable, but this, yeah, just, I just want to pay attention to the seal on the edges of the leather. Oh, did I just damage that? It's very nice. It's perfect. It's actually perfect than my last 
Louis Vuitton compared to my last Louis Vuitton bag. Yeah, and this is what. Um, almost 75% cheaper than that bag. Okay, like the edges are very clean. This is a really well-made bag. Okay. The handles. I am really surprised that I'm liking this red bag. This is a very right, bright red that I really like. Okay, so. Oh yeah. The hardware is gold, but it's not like your shiny gold. It's, it's got like some oldness look to it. And also, I want to focus on this. Okay, so there's a seal on these parts. And if you will notice, it's actually red, not black like the usual like the corners but you can tell that that's a seal it's really a well-made bag i saw they released a new color where there you can see the leather edges and but it, and it's not like coated yeah so there's the sides um not sure where this bag is made of but I've had a couple from Tory Birch that are made in the Philippines or in China. Okay, so this one says made in China. Okay. Okay. So it's screwed on. I'm wondering if you can remove that. Maybe. I'm not sure. I noticed a lot of the people who owns this bag they leave these all off just to make it easier to take your stuff out. Okay. It's really well made. I don't have anything bad to say about it. And the straps like that. You take it out by twisting this. Undo this one. I think I think you can undo this one too. Hmm. There. The corners are pretty nice too. So um I wanted to measure the strap. The strap is about okay, so it's about 45 inches at its shortest i believe oh no yeah it's pretty much about 45 50 inches i think yeah and i don't know what else to show hmm it's a really pretty bag you can wear it out on the daytime using this strap it looks playful or at night if you're going out for a date or a dinner with friends, you can just use it as a top. Uh, a tote. I already called that. A tote. Uh, I forgot. Yeah. There you go. That's just about it. Let me take more pictures. If you want to check out the pictures at the end of the video, just, oh, just stay on by. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.